nice to see some new bits on the car again this weekend. Um, you've been bringing them relentlessly through the season. From what you learned yesterday, I know we only got one proper practice session. Encouraged by what you saw? Yeah, the, the curbs here are shaking the cast apart, though. You can see with, uh, you know, Lewis, Max lost a little bit of bodywork as well. And uh, uh, so, uh, so, so, yeah, but it's good to have a, a couple of upgrades there. They, uh, because they're visual, uh, they're bigger than actually they, they, they look. So it's, you know, it's an evolutionary process. Um, and, uh, you know, it was good to get a bit of data with it in the second session yesterday. As the season goes on, we're seeing increasingly more teams maybe taking a a step out your guys book in terms of design that must be quite a, a nice thing to see that guys are trying to follow your direction well i think copying is the ultimate form of flattery so uh you know that's formula one it's always going to converge and this weekend formula one are talking again about carbon uh, net zero targets for 2030 yep. red bull obviously pushing in that direction as well are you encouraged by how things are going and hitting those targets in the next four or five years yeah i i, I think formula one is on a glide path to achieve that and i think you know, it's important for everybody, um, and I think you know where we're going with sustainable fuels and and so on. It's it, it's quite exciting. I think for, Formula One can be at the forefront of that technology. We have some of the best engineering talent in the world working on these cars and engines. So uh, you know, where better place to to prove that concept out? Gunter, we now know that the upgrades will be coming in Hungary. How are you getting on in terms of meeting that deadline? Do you think? Uh, in the moment, we are working hard to meet that deadline, you know, uh, it's one of the things you, you work towards it, like to, when you build a new car for the beginning of the season, it's always uh, at the edge, but if, if there is nothing coming in uh, uh, unexpected, we will be fine. Yesterday was tricky to have a little look at the competitive order, but overnight, have you managed to work out where you may stack up today in qualifying and then in the race? Uh, it's like uh, uh, yesterday was not a real FP, uh, FP1, FP2 because we didn't run in FP1 and yesterday afternoon we were not where we wanted to be but normally we come back a little bit stronger on Saturdays if you look over the last race weekends always uh, on Friday we were always uh, not, not where we wanted to be or where we should be so hopefully we can come back also this weekend. Without upgrades obviously helping you, what's your biggest challenge at the moment on a race weekend? Uh, the biggest challenge is always to find a good uh, uh, balance of the car and also to find a level uh, uh, where, where the, 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 the bouncing, uh, uh, purposing is acceptable for the drivers and to have the best uh, uh, loads on the car. And finally, just behind you, you can see Formula One is focusing heavily on 2030 and net zero. What do you make of that mission and, and that strategy? I, I think it's the, it's the way to do it. I mean, we have to get there, you know. I, I, I think it's one of these things the whole world has to get to do the best that we can get there.